Hello everyone, welcome to Cooking with Arun Kumar. Today I'm gonna show you how to make beef korma. You can use any meat, you can use lamb, you can make a lamb korma, you can make chicken korma, even vegetable korma also. So there are so many different like kormas. Korma actually, uh, this dish, uh, Mughal are the one who started the dish when they were ruling in India. Uh, I think if you go back, uh, it's like a 16th century. So this is like not just a new recipe or something. This is very, very old. So I hope you guys will enjoy this recipe. And so I'm trying to like uh, make easy and faster way to make. And I'm gonna use a pressure cooker, but you can use instant pot or you can use like normal pot. And uh, it depends like what meat is there. So you can try to make a smaller pieces so then easy to uh, cook them so here what we need okay so first thing first so you can see this is a whole spices I'm using so this is a coriander seed it's from my garden I harvested this year two teaspoon of coriander seed and three cloves three cloves one teaspoon of cumin seed and two green cardamom so I would like actually four but I don't have right now I'm out of cardamom right now because I'm, uh, I'm using a lot these days and one cinnamon stick two inches and I'm using uh, around like 20 paper corn right here so what I'm gonna do I'm, I'm heating this pan here right here and also I'm using a two tablespoon of shredded coconut it's a dry shredded coconut and so let's see I'm just waiting to pan to get hot okay so now I'm gonna add all the spices here all this whole spice only and just to roast them to get very good fragrance so nice like good flavor when you roast them like this so wow it smells so good already and now add this uh, coconut here yeah roast them all together so I'm uh, just in a medium high heat let's roll them maybe around like one minute okay it's done here and you can see I break the cinnamon stick also and this is done now you can just keep it aside right here so so I'm gonna show you what else we need like second step okay so now second step so I'm heating three tablespoons of olive oil here and this is one pound of stew beef and I cut them in small pieces that way they cook faster so I'm gonna fry this beef first and oil is hot okay so you know it's just uh, like four to five minutes just fry this and why we fry in the oil first place this uh, meat so you know this when you fry this is moisture get like uh, locked you know you can lock the moisture this way so it's uh, just four to five minutes and it's done I'm gonna put this right here okay so now I'm, I'm hitting the same pan you don't have to do anything it's just uh, leave it like this whatever is here so I'm gonna hit uh, around like two tablespoon of olive oil here so I'm gonna use I'm gonna hit two tablespoons of olive oil. Before that I'm gonna show you what else we need. This is one whole onion. I chop them. Uh, you can like roughly just chop or slice them. I just slice them and this is garlic, eight clove of garlic, roughly chopped. Ginger, two inch ginger, roughly uh, chopped. And I'm using a half teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of turmeric powder and I'm using one tablespoon of this is tapioca flour or you can use if you're okay you can use any you can even use a uh, rice flour you can use a uh, cassava flour or you can use a uh, all-purpose flour either gluten free or regular all-purpose flour and I'm gonna I'm using two cup of chicken broth here 
salt to taste and you can add some chili powder if you want it's up to you how spicy you want so oil is hot so I'm gonna fry this onion first and you can fry this onion until it's caramelized okay so this onion is, uh, you can see it's light brown now and it's caramelized so now I'm gonna add uh, ginger here I'm gonna add this ginger and this garlic and I'm gonna cook this for uh, like fry this together like two more minutes here okay so it's been two minutes now I'm gonna add all this spice if you remember all this uh, whole spice I have here roasted one so this cook for uh, five to six minutes and after you adding the spices you know you might see like a dry here you can add like more oil or you can add like a little bit of water maybe two three tablespoons of water or any oil down here i i uh, cook this all the spices you know including onion ginger garlic all the whole spices 10 to 12 minutes and now i'm gonna turn this off and keep this aside for maybe like a few minutes so because we uh, so I'm gonna blend this I'm gonna put it in a blender it smells so good here okay now I'm, I put this in the blender so I'm gonna blend this I'm gonna add like uh, two three tablespoons of water okay so in the same pot I'm using I'm heating one tablespoon of olive oil and you can see all the spice already blended here so it's all is hard I'm just gonna add all this here and you can you can add some water to get all the spices out here okay so at the same time I'm gonna add uh, this tapioca flour turmeric powder and garam masala all together here all like stir this mix this all well here Actually, this tapioca flour uh, gives like a nice and thick uh, consistency. Let's uh, this cook for four to five minutes, and we have to keep stirring because uh, uh, it might get burned. So use uh, like a medium high heat. So same time, I'm gonna add this uh, chicken broth here. Homemade chicken broth. So this is just two cup I'm using. You can use actually more than two cup if you don't have chicken broth available. Just you can use the water. When it started boiling, so we're gonna add this uh, meat in here. Okay, so it's uh, started boiling. I'm gonna add this uh, meat in here. Okay, so and with meat. Now I'm gonna add this uh, some salt here. So I'm gonna add a. Uh, one and a half teaspoon of salt here or to taste okay so just uh, you know you can uh, cook without press cooker also you can just cook in a slowly and like a long slowly you can cook this for I can say like at least 35 or 40 minutes uh, or until this uh, meat get very tender so I'm gonna cook this here in uh, this pressure cooker around like a I will wait for six to seven whistles, and or until this uh, meat get wet tender. And one more thing you can do: uh, soak some cashew and maybe like around a ten whole cashew or broken one, whatever we can add, and then we can put in the with a in a blender with the spices and uh, you know blend them, and then you can use. So this gravy. Or this uh, sauce supposed to be white sauce, not red sauce. Okay, so it's done. I turn this uh, pressure cooker off. Now I'm gonna take all the steam off. It's just a little bit left. It's been done. Let's check. So you know now you can add some uh, cream if you're okay. You can add uh, some 
heavy whipping cream on top and garnish this with cilantro so this sauce like you know when you put some cashew and cream so this get like white so this sauce supposed to be white it's not red so my sauce is not doesn't look so white because I didn't add any cream anything here and so I'm just trying to make a dairy free okay so it's done and uh, let me taste this Mm. so good the meat is so soft so tender I like that way so you can eat with uh, rice and naan Indian flatbread which is a roti and paratha there's so many like you know you can eat with and you, I just cut some uh, cucumber tomato onion together salt and pepper and lemon uh, you can eat this like you know just for side Stay so good. I hope you will enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, subscribe, like and comment. And you can see some fall in my background. Happy fall to everyone. And leaves are like, uh, changing color. Our, you can see our leaves already change. These are not real. These are fake leaves. <laughs> and, but it's changing color now. So you guys, uh, I hope you guys will enjoy all this uh, nice weather. Thank you. Thank you for watching.